start of a new vlog day. I'm rushing a little bit. I have five minutes until I need to log on for work, but I just wanted to start off the video, say hey. <laughs> All right, y'all. So for two hours today, um, I am running our hotline where people who are incarcerated can call in and ask us for help and kind of, you know, we jot down what's going on with them. Um, I'm a little nervous, but I feel like this is one of those things where you just have to throw yourself into it, do a few calls, and then you pick up on it really quickly. Or at least I'm hoping <laughs> that's how it will be. And then after that, um, so we do one two-hour shift each week, one hour voicemails each week. And then after this, I have my first meeting for my advocacy project, which I talked a little bit about in my last vlog, but it is dealing with like mental health advocacy. Um, and it kind of has like a creative aspect, which I also tried to talk about in my last vlog. So yeah, I guess I'm just going to wait for these calls. I hope I'm not too late to set my demons straight. I know I made you wait. How much can you take? I hope you see the guy in me. I hope you can see. And if it's up, stay down for me. Yeah. It's all digital and stuff too. What a time. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, I think I already told you guys earlier, but I'm gonna log on for my last meeting, which is about my advocacy project for the summer. And then after I do that, oh, I have to send out this email. I was typing. I reread emails over and over and over again before I send them. So I have to send that and then um, yeah, after I have the meeting, I'm done for the day, but I needed to go to Sephora and Ulta because I'm running out some products and then also Barnes and Noble because I needed a new book. Well, I don't need a new book. I have several books that I have not read yet, but I'm almost done with this one, which is what I'm currently reading. I have like 50 pages left. I'll probably finish it tonight. So I wanted to go get a new book. I've been into fiction lately i'm normally like a non-fiction kind of girl but so me medical and mental health care is a life and death issue for people who are incarcerated i hope i'm not too late to set my demons straight i know i made you wait how much can you take i hope you see the guy my work day is over i had errands to run but honestly i don't feel like doing it i don't I was supposed to work out too because I didn't have time to do it this morning. I literally put on this like workout set because I said you cannot have any excuses after work. But low key, I don't want to do that either. Mm. In other news, I got a new fragrance from Balenciaga. I actually don't own any Balenciaga fragrances. And I'm hoping, I'm just hoping this one smells good because I bought it online, never smelt it. I don't know. But I was watching someone's video and she mentioned this fragrance and she said it's like, it smelled so good. But I feel like florals, they can either be very elderly or like they smell. Oh, the bottle's cute. I think I like it. Let's see. It smells really good actually. We're gonna keep it. She smells good. I fall for you every time I try to resist you. Think you get away. Palm trees, beach views, all the narrow day. All I wanna hear is that the vision's not replay. Sit right next to you. You. I'm trying to show how I feel about you. You and you in. We don't really want to pack so I get away. I sit right next to you.
ahead a couple days what I do during the week is very repetitive and I'm not trying to show you that over and over and over again like where's the fun in that so today is Friday um on Fridays I kind of work a half day they're very flexible with our schedules like you can log on when you want to log off when you want to it's really just like a as long as the assignment we give you gets done type of thing so it's 1 30 I'm done for the day. Uh, I'm gonna run those errands that I told you guys about on Monday. So we gotta go to Sephora, Ulta, a few different stores. I tried this no makeup makeup look today. What are our thoughts? I feel like in some ways it looks similar to how I normally do my makeup. But what I use differently is this Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer. I actually, oh, <laughs> I really like it. Um, super lightweight. Obviously since it's a tinted moisturizer, there's not a lot of coverage. Um, but I think it's nice. I just got to the nail shop. I can only hope and pray that Tony, listen, Tony is my guy, but he will keep me in here for three, four hours. And all I'm getting is like a simple gel manicure. Believe it or not, my nails have actually grown out really long. Um, but yeah, I, I can't be in here all day. So let's just hope. Do y'all see what time it is? 5.13? Tony, no, he wrong. I got here at 2. Like, I just, I don't even want to go nowhere, man. <laughs> oh, by the way, these are my nails. I got yellow. Cute, cute. This little boy bad. <laughs> he bad. <laughs> no, eat your food. Really getting heavy. I told you when I walked in, he looks bigger. <laughs> what? Yeah, this boy just growing by the day. It's Father's Day. Actually, let me go see what my dad is doing. He hates being on camera. Another Juneteenth celebration, so the second one of the day. Loki's getting a little hot. It's getting a little hot. That's cute. Let's count and tell me when to move. No, one, two, and then three. <laughs> <laughs> you guys said one, two, and then I'm three. I move. One, two, three. 
Uh, hey. uh, I don't know what he did. Mommy got to do it, probably. He oh got it. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Oh my God, y'all <laughs> Guys, I'm so tired. Like, I literally changed into my little pajamas. Uh, that's how tired I am. But I'm sitting here about to finish this show on Netflix called You Don't Know Me. My sister actually told me about this the other day. She was like, oh, you need to watch this new show. It would be right up your alley. And you know what? She didn't lie. Because I think it's so good. <sighs> Got my favorite kombucha, the mint limeade. I need to decide if I'm going to end the vlog here or not. I've been trying to make mine a little bit longer because I know I personally like to watch longer vlogs and I feel like a lot of other people do too. Um, so I'm not sure if I have enough footage. I don't know, the 10 minute vlogs just fly by. So I'm trying to make it longer. Ignore my bed, um, my sheets and stuff are being washed. But I low-key have a lot I need to do today. So last week I got this assignment to like draft something and when I was talking to my supervisor about it, I said, you know, like, when do you need this done by? And he was like, oh, it's time sensitive, but not that time sensitive. So sometime, you know, within the next two weeks. But I had the bright idea to be like, you know what? I could get this to you by next Wednesday, aka this Wednesday now. I'm like, what led me to do that? Like, why did I do that? You never give yourself a time constraint, a deadline if they didn't do it for you. Like, I did not need to do that. And I was like, like I don't know if I was just trying to like take some initiative, I don't know. But I feel like I low-key played myself and it's not a hard assignment, but it does require a little bit of research on my part. So really that's what I need to sit down and do today. And I have to look through our course catalog because we choose classes for next semester in like five or six days. And I need to figure out what I'm taking because I'm also doing a clinic. So I gotta I gotta work that schedule out. I'm actually going to a dentist appointment. It's only for a cleaning, so it shouldn't take that long. Um, I also used the Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer again today. I actually really like it. I tried not to do too much with my brows. I just used um, a brow gel, like a tinted brow gel. But it's cute. It's like very natural. Didn't do too much eyeshadow or anything today. I like it. <laughs> so today I'm doing this juice cleanse um, from Press. Aren't there pride bottles? Super cute. But I actually bought a two day juice cleanse a few weeks ago, but I folded after the first day. <laughs> so basically it turned into two one day juice cleanses, if that makes sense. Um, so I need to drink this one right now. I already have one for today. Gotta drink this one, but I'll probably do that when I get back because that just makes more sense. <laughs> okay, I suck, I suck. I did not vlog anything of substance today. But what I was going to talk to you guys about is OCI, aka on-campus interviewing, which is like if you want to work at a big law, corporate type law firm. Many of you know, I am like public interest oriented through and through since before law school, since coming to law school, like everything has been public interest centered. But I see, I see, I see how schools or really just like your peers more so can push you towards big law because i had a moment today where i was like wait a minute should i be preparing for oci like should i be ranking firms or bidding on firms or getting a cover letter together reformatting my resume like what i will say for a school that's very like prides itself on being public interest centered our career development office could be a little bit better at finding or like helping people with public interest opportunities um, because they do have they send you out like a full plan and such and such for big law and that's what they said the other day and I was looking through it and I was like oh like this this shit is serious <laughs> I was about to get real comfortable and watch P Valley but I remembered another thing so one of my mentors I was assigned through a club on campus actually called me a few months ago and she was like can i talk to you about 2l summer and i'm like girl what and she started talking about big law and oci and the stability you get going into 2l year by like having your job already so to speak and i'm not discounting that at all and then on top of that there's like people who during orientation week i know for a fact 
were doing like criminal defense or something like that and now they're doing big law and obviously there's nothing wrong with changing your mind at all i'm just saying for me it contributed to feeling like hmm should i like what's going on no like for real i really want to watch p valley so i'm going to stop talking but i have my reasons for not doing big law just like people have their reasons for not doing public interest all i have to say is at the end of the day if you're going through the stress the pressure the rigor of law school just make it worthwhile like do whatever makes sense for you anyway that's all i got thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one